Hello and welcome to my channel where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing Bath & Body Works' new Festive Forest Holiday Collection. Thank you so much for stopping by and let's get started. Bath & Body Works has started releasing their holiday body care collections. And first up, I have the Festive Forest Collection. I will have reviews of the other two collections they released along with this one coming up soon. And I believe they'll also be releasing more holiday scents next week. I did want to mention that despite not having special packaging, this collection is priced higher than standard. So I'd recommend waiting for a sale to purchase. And I believe a body care sale is coming this last weekend of October. There are four re-promoted scents in the Festive Forest collection. And I picked up all of the fragrance mists. I'm a little disappointed that none of the scents are new, or even new to me, but I'm also excited for this collection because it does include some of my favorite scents. I think that the packaging is cute, and I like the foresty theme with the little woodland creatures and wintry accents. I kind of wish they had wrapped the design around the whole bottle, but I do still like it. Note the bottles are clear, and it's the liquid that's tinted. The body cream packaging is more colorful, and I think prettier overall, but I don't think I'll be picking any of those up as I'm trying to only buy body lotion from now on. The collection includes snowflakes and cashmere, described as snuggling into the softest blanket on a bright winter morning. Fairy tale, described as a sweet, dreamy, magical storybook come to life. Strawberry snowflakes, described as a fluffy, fruity flurry. And winterberry wonder, described as delicious chilled berries. And now let's get on to the reviews. First up is Snowflakes and Cashmere, which is a returning scent and comes in the bottle with a light gray label. And this has notes of vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. And this opens with a thick, creamy vanilla. And there's a syrupy, sugary quality to it that feels like caramel. The scent has a soft woodiness that adds some warmth as well as an almost toasted or caramelized quality. And the clementine adds a hint of brightness and cuts through some of the sweetness, but this is still overwhelmingly a sweet vanilla scent. To me, this is a creamy, woody vanilla topped with caramel and a touch of citrus. It's very sweet, and I would classify this as a gourmand because it does smell edible, like a bowl of heavy cream drizzled with caramel. I have always liked this scent, and this year's version still smells really good to me. I'm not going to do a ton of comparisons in this video since none of these scents are new, but I will compare them to their earlier versions. I have a couple other versions of Snowflakes and Cashmere, and in the middle is last year's in the Snowflake packaging, and on the right is I believe the 2021 version in the Faceted packaging. They all have the same notes of Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, and Frosted Clementine. The scent is similar across all of these, but I always felt like last year's version was a bit lighter. The 2021 version feels spot on with the new one to me, like thick vanilla caramel cream. Next up is Fairy Tale, which was a signature scent for a while, and then it was online only. And it comes in the bottle with the green label. And this has notes of pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. And this opens sort of fruity and it's both sweet and a little tart that verges on sour. The pomegranate has a sort of syrupy quality, as well as a bit of earthiness. And the orange blossom adds a sweet, heady floral, while the amber brings in a lot of warmth, as well as a resinous quality. The vanilla adds a fresh sort of sweetness, but the scent isn't super sweet, and there's something that gives it a bit of brightness. To me, this is a pretty floral scent with a warm, ambery quality and a fruity touch. It has the vanillic sweetness, but it's more perfumey than sweet. This is always compared to YSL Libra, which I don't actually really love, though I do like the intense version. I prefer Fairy Tale because it feels like a more elevated fragrance mist without being too heavy like Libra. It also has similarities to other Bath & Body Works mists like Dahlia and Chasing Fireflies, and I'd say that Fairy Tale ranks in the middle of those for me. And for comparison, I have the original version of Fairy Tale which I believe came out in 2021, and it has the same notes of pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. And first off, while I do like the new packaging, I think it pales in comparison to the original bottle, 
which feels elegant and beautiful. These have a similar fruity floral base and warm amber, but I feel a subtle difference between them. The original feels sweeter and more syrupy, with an almost powdery quality at times, while the new one feels more heavily floral. It's not a huge difference though, and perhaps the vanilla in the new version will sweeten a bit over time. The next scent in the collection is Strawberry Snowflakes, which is also a re-promoted scent and comes in the bottle with the pink label. And this has notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. And this opens sweet and delicious, like a bowl of berries and cream. The strawberry feels very fresh, and the cream has both a vanillic and powdery feel to it, kind of like fluffy whipped cream dusted with powdered sugar. The bergamot gives the scent a little citrusy brightness, and I remember I didn't like that at first because it felt a bit strong, but it softens pretty quickly, and now I don't mind it. To me, this basically smells like a bowl of strawberries and whipped cream, with a touch of citrus and a powdery quality. It's really yummy, and I absolutely love this scent. It was one of my top scents of 2022, and I would also put it in my favorite Bath & Body Works scents of all time. I like wearing it to bed as it feels really fresh and sweet and light, and I think this is a good alternative if you find strawberry pound cake too heavy or cloying, because this doesn't have the heavy cake note. And for comparison, I have the original version of Strawberry Snowflakes, which came out last holiday, and it has the same notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. I'm not usually a fan of faceted packaging, but I actually like the original bottle because it's iridescent frosted, and it has the pretty pink label with snowflakes on it. These smell very similar, if not identical to me. Sometimes I think the older version is a tad stronger and sweeter, but it's a pretty negligible difference. And the last scent in the collection is Winterberry Wonder, which is again, not a new scent, and comes in the bottle with the purple label. And this has notes of ruby frost winterberry, sparkling cranberry, and crystal vanilla. And this opens with a strong, juicy berry note that feels dark and a bit syrupy. And I also get some of the cranberry, which is a little tart, but not too sharp. As it dries, the fruit gets more of a candied feel and also starts to sweeten. It doesn't really smell like vanilla to me, but it just has a slightly creamy sweetness, but I do find that that creaminess fades. To me, this is a dark candied berry scent that reminds me of hard candy or fruit punch. It has a subtle vanillic sweetness, but it's more like candy, and the scent is overall berry heavy. I do like this one, but I feel like it isn't anything super special, as it's just your run-of-the-mill candied berry scent. And for comparison, I have last year's version of Winterberry Wonder, and it has the same notes of Ruby Frost Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. I do like last year's snowflake packaging, but I also like the new bottle's foresty theme. These share the similar candy berry scent, but I remember last year I wish this had a little more sweetness, and I feel like this year's version does, so I do like it a little more. The berries also don't feel quite as sharp in the new one. Overall, I do like this collection because all of the scents are good, and I'm especially glad that they brought back strawberry snowflakes as I wasn't sure if we'd ever see it again but the collection also doesn't feel super exciting because there isn't really anything new. All of these scents, except for Fairy Tale, were actually in last year's Snow Beautiful collection, so it feels like they just gave us the same collection and swapped in one scent. If I had to rank these, my least favorite would be Winterberry Wonder. I don't dislike it, but there's just not anything really special about the candied berry scent. Next would be Fairy Tale, which is a lovely fruity floral with warm amber. This feels like the most high quality scent, but it's not something that I think I'd wear on a daily basis. Then Snowflakes and Cashmere would come in second. I love Gourmands, and this is a really nice mix of creamy vanilla and sweet caramel over some warm woods. And that of course leaves Strawberry Snowflakes as my favorite. Apparently, I just wanna smell like a bowl of strawberries and cream topped with powdered sugar, because I absolutely love this scent. So that's it for my review of the Festive Forest Collection from Bath & Body Works. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to give any of them a try. Look out for upcoming reviews of more Bath & Body Works holiday collections to come soon. Thank you for watching, I hope that you'll subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video!